Want to monetize your WordPress website? I'll show you how to create a simple WordPress membership website in minutes, no coding required. This, in terms of the design, you can go ahead and customize it yourself, right? So we're not tied to just one design. We can go ahead and customize a copy. We can go ahead and click a call to action. And then we've got our free plan, right? Where anyone can register for free. Or we've got our paid plan, which is for $49. So with this paid plan, it's a one-time fee. We can do recurring subscriptions as well. With our membership tier, our members will get access to exclusive content. We can do monthly or weekly webinars. We can give them access to exclusive courses and so on. So any custom type that you've got on your website, we can go ahead and restrict that to paid members only. All right. And to achieve all this, we'll be using the AOV Up memberships plugin. So I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is create our membership plans, right? So for this website, I'm going to create two plans. So I'm going to create a plan for our free users and I'll create one for our paid users just to keep things super simple. I'm going to navigate over to AOVO and then membership. And now we'll navigate over to membership plans. Okay, so I'm going to create two new plans. So we'll say free tier. Navigate under general settings. We want to automatically enroll users into this particular plan, right? And we don't need any admin approval. This will be unlimited. So for the rule, we're just going to leave it blank, right? So the idea is that currently they'll have access to all the content on our website. However, when we create our paid plan, we'll start to gate some of those content, which this particular plan won't have access to and hit save changes. Okay. So we'll click add membership plan again. And this time, let's say this is our paid plan, right? Okay. However, to get access to this particular plan, we need them to purchase a particular product. I'm going to quickly create that product now in a new tab. So we'll just click add new and then product. And we'll just say, again, be more creative with the naming convention. We'll set this as a one of E. So we can have this as a subscription plan. So they pay monthly, um, yearly or whatever you want. But I'll leave a link to a different video, which shows you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. We just click on simple subscription and then we'll just fill out our subscription information. But as I said, we want to keep things super simple. So it's just $49, a one-time fee to join our paid plan. So let's hit publish. All right, let's head back over to this plans page here. And now we'll go ahead and search for that product, which we've just created. So we'll say paid and, and this is that product that we just created here. And it doesn't require admin approval. So we'll say no. The membership length, we can set this to unlimited or you can set it to a specific length or a fixed date in the future. Right? So if you've got a specific date when you want this membership to end, you can go ahead and specify that there. Okay, so now for our rules engine, this is where we'll go about gating a certain content here we'll say um, pages and then we'll say courses well meaning this courses section is only available to users within this paid plan so here where it says accessibility we can grant them access immediately or we can actually delay access so we can feed um, content to this member so this is great if you're offering a free trial for example then maybe you don't want to give them access to all the content within that seven day period maybe you want to hold back some of that content and this is how you go ahead and do that however i'm just going to give them access immediately and we can just keep stacking our rule into this particular membership plan right so if you're using any custom post type it will show up here as well so i'm just gonna delete this one we'll just leave this one example and then later on i'll show you how you can restrict access to parts of a page or even any new page or post that you're creating on the fly so you don't have to keep coming back to this plans page to restrict um, access to a particular page or post i'll show you this in a second but in the users um, at dashboard they'll see these menu items here here. So they'll see content. Well, they'll get to see all the different content that they've got access to, any particular discount, any notes left by the admin, and manage, meaning they can just manage their membership. In a newer version, there's also the option to add custom links, but it's not on this particular version that I am running. All right, so we'll just hit publish again. Before we go any further, we want to just fine tune our settings. So we'll navigate over to settings here. And here we've got our content restriction mode. So we can hide the page completely, or we can hide the content only, or we can actually redirect users to a upgrade page, for example. So I'm gonna redirect them to a different page. I'm gonna create a upgrade page. So just add new and then page. All right, so here you'd just add your price and table and essentially just link over to the different pricing options. So for example, we've got our free tier. 
We'll sort out the linking um, over to the different plans in a second. I just want to create this upgrade page so we can add it here. Okay, so it's saying nothing found. So let's just refresh this page just to double check. Select redirect again and let's say upgrade. Okay, so now it's found it. So that's fine. Yeah, just go through these options here and then just adjust it accordingly. But for now, this is all I want to change. I'm going to hit save changes. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and add a member to our pricing. So to add a new member manually to a pricing plan, we can just click add member or search for our member or we can add, create a new one. Let's add Sam. So I'm gonna select this free tier here. Let's hit save changes. All right, so now I wanna log into Sam's account just to see how things look. Okay, so before we do that, I wanna actually hide one extra page. I wanna hide our downloadables page. All right, so now let's navigate over to users. Let's switch to Sam's account. All right, let's view our membership. So currently there's no exclusive content within this free membership. However, if we try to view this premium content here, this downloadables page, when we refresh this page, it should redirect us to this upgrade page, right? And then obviously we'll just add our links accordingly. So um, the free plan, it doesn't make sense in this case because I'm already on a free plan. Um, but for the paid plan, we can go ahead and add our link here. So we'll add our link and I'll show you how to restrict part of a particular Particular page. So let's switch back to our admin account. All right, so let's navigate over to products. Let's view products. So this is that paid plan that users need to purchase to be able to get access to that paid membership tier, right? And this is $49. So what we can do is we can link them directly to this page, right? Where they can add it to cart and go ahead and check out. But what I want to do is I want to send them directly to the checkout page with this particular um, plan reloaded in their basket. So to do that, I'm going to use an extra plugin by AOVUP. It's free. It's an AIO checkout plugin. So I'm going to head back over to our dashboard. I'm going to navigate over to AOVUP and this time AIO checkout, all in one at checkout. And now I'm going to click on buy link. I'm going to create a new buy link. I'm going to say add product. Then we'll search for that paid um, plan product, which is this one. And let's hit save. And it's created this unique link for us. And whenever we view this link directly, it'll take us to our checkout page with this paid membership option preloaded in our basket. So on our pricing page for this paid plan, we can actually link it over directly to that paid option and we can adjust the pricing as well. So this is actually $49. Okay, and this is free. Um, so to link this one over, we can just link it over to the sign up page, assuming you've got registration enabled, right? And to double check, you can just head over to settings here where it says membership. Anyone can register. So this is already enabled, which is fine. And how to register is usually WP. Let's just do it now, right? So let's copy this link, let's open it in a private browser and it will automatically redirect us over to this wp-login.php. We can click on register, and this is our registration page. So if we wanted to get more fancier, we can actually create a separate registration page and basically embed our registration fields on that page. But just to save time, I'm just copying over the default WordPress registration link, right? So we can save changes. And this is basically how we create a simple membership for WordPress. So as I mentioned, we can actively restrict content as we are creating them. So you might have noticed this membership area here. And if we wanted, we can just click add new rule. And then we can say we only want to display this um, page to members within this paid plan. Of course, that doesn't make sense because they need to be able to view this page to get access to it. Right. So just going to delete this rule. But that was just to show you how you'd go ahead and do it. And now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and hide parts of a particular page. Right. Let's add some more content onto this page. Okay, right, so we've got some text here, right? If we wanted to hide parts of this particular page, what we'll have to do is basically just add a new block and then we'll search for membership and then we'll say members content or we can say non-members content. It'll make sense in a minute. So I'm going to say members content and essentially anything we add within this section here will be visible to members only and we get to specify which um, plan it will be visible to. So for example, we can just add, let's add an image. 
All right, so this is only visible to members, right? And when we enable this sidebar area here, click on this lock icon, and then here we get to select which plan this content is visible to. And we can select multiple um, plans as well. We can delay access, so we can give them access immediately after a specific time or a specific date. So we can add our default message or add a custom message and then just hit save changes. So let's see how this looks. All right, we can see the text, but we're actually not able to see this image, right? And because we didn't add any custom messaging, we can't see any custom messaging here as well. So let's switch back to admin and we'll be able to see that image. And let's refresh this page now. Okay, and we can see that image here. And the reason being is because we're logged in as admin, we're actually able to see all the content regardless of the membership. 